guys and welcome back to Car Focused. Now today another quick video, um, this is part two of the 0 to 60 video. So in the last video we did three runs um, to 60 and the best time we got was a 4.67. We started off at 4.9, went to 4.7 and then 4.67. Now I was convinced that there's more time to find in that and I was running near bald front tyres and I thought that played a big part in the loss of time. Cars running stage one, um, approximately 380 brake horsepower. So I'm pretty sure we should be getting around four and a half seconds to 60, maybe a bit lower. So now we've got the fresh rubber on. I think uh, it'd be rude not to have another crack. So I've got the V-Box uh, Sport set up again, hooked up with my phone. Um, and I think we should go out and do a few more runs and see how we get on. So let's do it. Now before we start, just look at how good this car looks. Absolute beast. I tell you what, that bird is doing my head in, tweeting away. But yeah, look at it, it's gonna look so good when it's lower with the spacers as well. What a beauty. If you look at the minute, it's just too high at the back, look. Too high in my opinion. Needs more lows. And then we'll have a nice, you can just see the wheels are just slightly inside the arch and the space is gonna bring that out. Anyway, back to the, uh, the topic of this video. Let's go and do some 0-60 runs. Right, so run number one. Get ourselves lined up for this. So we've got the, uh, the brand new Michelin Pilot Supersport tires. We are in track mode. So we've got the firmer suspension and we've got traction control in sport, which basically will reduce any intervention. V-Box is set up. Let's get it in launch control. Da -da -da. Settings, driver assist, launch control, right. Let's go. And there's 60. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, 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 oh. It's always good fun. Right, so that time I held the revs longer from first to second, so I was very close to hitting the limiter and then with a, qu a quick flat foot shift. So it felt good. So we've got 4.67 to beat. Let's see what we got there. Let's have a look. There are we. Hey, hey, that's better. 4.58. Get in. So as expected, the time has come down with the new tyres. So book time for the standard car is 4.7. We managed to get a 4.67 with the near ball tyres on, and now I've got 4.58. I think there's more time available. I think if we go for a second run, I've got a feeling we can get that down. So let's have a crack. 4.58, that'd be nice to get a flat 4.5 or even a, a 4.4, but just gotta get it perfect. Let's have another go. If you haven't tried launch control and you have an RS, you really need to give it a go. The way the thing gets off the line is amazing. Right, so. Stop here. So this is run number two. Run number two. Right, let's make sure everything is set up. There we go. Right, that's good. So, settings, driver assist. Launch control, right, let's pray for a better time. So, here we go. Go. Oh. And there's 60. Oh, so good. Oh my God. Right, that felt pretty good. That felt very good. Yes. 4.51. 4.51, so that's 
that's basically a flat 4.5. So 4.7 to 4.5 with a stage one map is, ba is, is kind of what I expected, to be honest. It would have been nicer to get, you know, a little bit quicker, but 4.5 seconds to 60 in a Ford Focus is pretty good. So to be fair, I'm pretty chuffed for that. Now, it'll be interesting to see if it, if it is any quicker with the Ultima 2 Plus map. Um, I don't think it will be really because first and second gear, there's only sort of so much you can get out of it. Um, it's when you get into third that you really start to notice all the power. But no, 4.5 seconds, I am pretty chuffed. And that's with a manual gearbox. So that, that's me changing gear as quickly as I can. If this car had a DSG equipped gearbox, I'm sure that would be down at sort of 4.2, 4.3. So yeah, stage one Ford Focus RS, um, Dream Science Ultima Map, 0-60 in 4.5 seconds. So just another quick video, I hope you've enjoyed it, um, I'm glad I've obviously got the result I was after. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is next week I am definitely heading up to Dream Science to get the spacers and the springs fitted and like I said before, I'll be filming that. So as always, any questions, um, feel free to comment below and I will do my best to answer all the questions. But until the next video, guys, all take care, and I'll see you soon.